Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel or hello if you're new. My name is Abby. Nice to have you here. I'm currently just sitting on the floor filming this intro for you because I had a subscriber yesterday or just someone who watched my video, not necessarily a subscriber. She commented and asked me to make a video of myself filming a tutorial of how I make my matcha because she said that she was using another video from my cozy nighttime routine to make her matcha off of. And that video was just so bad for like how to make matcha. So I'm just going to make a new one for this girl. I think her name was Areem. I'll put it up on the screen. But um, this is for you, girl. And please don't use that video to make your matcha. Let me show you how I actually do it. <laughs> Would just like to preface as well that I am just a white girl. I Matcha comes from Japan and there's like a proper ceremonial traditional way of doing it. I definitely don't do it the traditional way. I just do it the way that I've been taught that kind of makes sense for me and that I like the taste of. So if you want to fully delve into how it's properly made, definitely look up like ceremonial matcha tea making and that will give you a better idea. So first of all, I'm just going to run you through the setup that I have. So I start off with, I'm going to show you how to make a cold and a hot matcha latte today. So I've got my mug and my glass. I've got milk, my matcha powder. I've got this big, nice mixing bowl, which is from a traditional matcha tea set. And then it just comes with a little matcha spoon as well. And the whisk, which I let sit in boiling water just so that the bristles can become a bit softer and it makes the foam a bit nicer. And then I have my hot water ready to go. I also have some ice prepared for the ice matcha latte. So that's all ready to go. So first step, I'm gonna start by just opening up my bag of matcha and I'm gonna use my matcha spoon to just scoop some out. Just eyeball it, honestly. I was making two drinks, so I probably did like, oh, maybe six spoons full of matcha. Now here I'm just using a little strainer to strain my matcha because it can be quite clumpy, the powder. So I'll show you how clumpy it is at the end, but you just sort of sift it through and it makes a nice fine powder. Now the matcha that I use is just from Amazon, but there are much better matchas out there on the market. Um, honestly, if you're looking to get one, I would just go to your closest Asian grocer, support a small business and get probably a much higher quality matcha while you're at it. And also um, next time I buy one, I'm going to get one from a little tiny tin because I think that's the more, you know, good quality ceremonial kind. So this is a better look of what the clumps look like through the strainer. And once you're finished, it should just look like this, a nice fine powder. Mine has a bit of water in it just because I cleaned my bowl before. Um, and then you just want to pour some hot water in there, not too much, just enough to sort of cover the powder. And then you use your whisk. And I like to do mine in a circular motion at first. And then I just go from side to side in a zigzag sort of pattern. And you swap the sides that you do it from. Now this is like the proper way that I've been taught how to do it, um, which I think is a little bit more traditional, but I'm definitely doing it wrong. And now you can kind of see the froth that's on the top. So that's what it should look like. And then after that, I'm just going to put that one aside and get my cup, put some ice in it for the iced latte. Once your cup has ice, go ahead and pour in some milk and I just pour it not fully to the top to leave a little bit of space for the actual matcha. And then I pour that straight over the milk and I do it in this order so that you can actually see the gradient because I just find it really satisfying. You could do it the other way, but this one is just so much more satisfying. And then I get my squeezy bottle of condensed milk, but you can use any type of condensed milk whether it's from a can or a tube and I just squeeze in a little bit to give it a nice sweet taste you don't have to it's optional um, but also something else I use is maybe caramel syrup hazelnut syrup you can use maple syrup um, just to sweeten it up a little bit and give it some extra flavor 
that is another really great option. So putting that one aside, now I'm gonna show you how to make the hot matcha latte. So with my little mug, first things first, I'm gonna pour in just my regular matcha mix that I just made and then pour in some more hot water because it doesn't need to be all milk. It's quite a waste of milk if you use all that much. And then I fill the rest up with milk and I go ahead and microwave it. I usually just microwave mine for like two minutes and then it's good, but I also put some condensed milk in this one just to sweeten it up. And after you take that one out of the microwave, it is all good to go. So that is how I make my matcha lattes hot and cold. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in my next video.